This video is for everybody that wants to explore the legendary Baba Yaga mythical creature. As you delve deeper into the darkest forests in search of mythical creatures, be wary of what lurks in the shadows. Some legends are best left undisturbed. Unless you dare to face the chilling truth. For those unfamiliar with her, we are going to tell you who Baba Yaga is, what makes her so frightening, what her house looks like, then we have an interesting bonus for you. And lastly, we hope to find out what mythical creature you actually are. Let's get started. Who is Baba Yaga? Baba is a Slavic word that means old woman, grandmother or witch, and is likely related to the modern Russian word for grandmother, babushka. The second part, Yaga, can refer to Slavic words for serpent, abuse, or evil woman. Baba Yaga an iconic figure in Slavic folklore and mythology, is frequently portrayed as an ancient and twisted witch. Her appearance is characterized by abnormalities, extreme thinness, and a fearsome character. With her elongated nose, malevolent grin, and an insatiable appetite for devouring young children, she embodies the essence of a powerful and supernatural witch. Baba Yaga is one of a trio of ferocious witches, her stories originate from Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. She resembles witches of other traditions, but she is in many ways unique. Her behavior, appearance, and magical abilities set her apart from the typical idea you may have about witches. The first documented evidence of Baba Yaga emerges in woodblock prints from the late 17th century and early 18th century indicating she is a known figure that was handed down by tradition. The first narrative account of Baba Yaga is in Vasily Levshin's 1780 collection of Russian fairy tales. International recognition for her ambiguous character only happened in the 1870s, where 600 Russian fairy tales were transcribed. What makes Baba Yaga so frightening? Baba Yaga appears in many different stories, and it will all depend on the story that you read, if a character is helpful or evil. In most stories, Baba Yaga is considered the greatest wicked witch of all time, where she is depicted as skin and bones, scary and intimidating, with teeth like tusks and hands like iron-like talons or claw-like fingers that are bony and withered. Baba Yaga's skeletal hands are often portrayed as having magical qualities. She may use her hands to perform spells, brew potions, or cast enchantments. Sometimes, she possesses an ability to stretch her arms or elongate her fingers, further enhancing her mystical nature. In other folklore, her character is more ambiguous and associated with the moon, with the creatures of the forest, or with motherhood or midwifery. The fact this character is not your average troublemaker makes it so interesting for us as human beings to go over some of her personal traits. Who knows? You might also be able to relate to her. Feminine versus Masculine Baba Yaga is typically portrayed as a female fictional character. She is often depicted as an old crone, a wise woman, or a witch-like figure that is often shown with a giant pestle and mortar. Her femininity is an integral part of her identity and plays a significant role in the stories she appears in. Friendly versus Frightening, Baba Yaga, a complex character in Slavic folklore, embodies both good and evil. She can be a helpful ally, as seen in Vasilisa the Beautiful, where she aids Vasilisa in escaping her wicked stepfamily. However, she also has a menacing side, making her both intriguing and terrifying. Baba Yaga's behavior is unpredictable, evoking fear or respect. She is often depicted in her hut, with her large nose which allows her to identify visitors by scent. Seeking her help is risky, as she has a strong personality and may resort to drastic measures. Despite this, protagonists have managed to escape her clutches, which probably explains why she got her nickname, Bony Leg. Youthful versus Mature Baba Yaga is traditionally portrayed as an elderly woman, emphasizing her maturity and wisdom. She is often depicted as an ancient crone with age-related physical attributes, such as wrinkles, bony hands, 
and a hunched posture. Introvert versus extrovert. Baba Yaga, often portrayed as a reclusive figure, dwells in her isolated hut deep within the dense forests of Eurasia. Balancing between two contrasting realms, she holds profound sacred wisdom. Preferring solitude, she rarely engages in social interactions, indicating an introverted disposition. Control Freak vs. Free-Spirited Baba Yaga is often characterized as a control freak, exercising her power and authority in the realms she governs. She sets tasks and challenges for those who seek her help, expecting them to comply with her demands. She is also unpredictable in her actions if you do not comply with her demands. Antagonist vs. Protagonist Baba Yaga is commonly depicted as a complex character who can play both antagonist and protagonist roles, as a helper or a hinderer. While she is often portrayed as an obstacle or a challenging figure in the hero's journey, she can also provide assistance and guidance to those who prove themselves worthy. Here you can see an overview of the personality traits on a scale for Baba Yaga. It's important to note that Baba Yaga's traits can vary depending on the specific story, since different storytellers may emphasize certain aspects of her character, resulting in variations in her portrayal. With this knowledge, you now might think that you have a lot of personality traits in common that remind you of Baba Yaga. Now it's a matter to find the Yaga to your Baba, so you can start a magical duo. Keep watching and let us show you how the fear for Baba Yaga is still instilled till this day. What does her house look like? An important element of her creepiness is her house. The old lady is often described as living remote in a deep forest. The house in which Baba Yaga lives is often reached after a long walk in the forest. Firstly, you will notice the fence that circles her hut and which is made of human and animal bones with lanterns made of skulls. These bones are said to rattle and clatter, serving as a warning or deterrent to those who approach the hut without permission or who are unworthy. It's most often an old, worn, and dilapidated wooden hut, with walls and roof showing signs of decay. This adds to the mysterious and eerie atmosphere surrounding the old lady. In most stories, her hut is supported by chicken legs and plays a significant role in her folklore and is often depicted as distinct and extraordinary. For example, the load-bearing chicken legs sometimes can turn around or relocate on command. In some depictions, Baba Yaga's hut is portrayed as a sentient or animated entity. It may have a personality of its own, capable of making decisions and responding to the environment. This aspect highlights the supernatural nature of Baba Yaga's dwelling. She is said to own enchanted mirrors that can turn into lakes and combs that can become forests. What is the difference between Baba Yaga and other witches? From the looks and the stories around Baba Yaga, you would immediately say that she is a wicked witch. However, there are some differences between Baba Yaga and other witches. Baba Yaga is the archetype of a traditional supernatural old Slavic witch, often bending forward with a lengthy ugly nose, iron teeth, and a bony leg. However, in popular culture nowadays, witches are also often beautiful women who practice witchcraft or possess supernatural abilities. Depending on the context, they can be depicted as either positive or negative characters. They may serve as healers, wise women, or protectors, or they can be portrayed as malevolent, casting spells, or causing harm. Bonus. Why is Baba Yaga so popular? Here we have an interesting fact where Baba Yaga is used in a frightening manner in popular culture. Baba Yaga regained popularity in modern culture due to shows like Lost Girl, Arthur, The Magicians, Supernatural, Hellboy comics and movies, Fortnite game, and in the John Wick movies. In the latter, the main protagonist John Wick was nicknamed Baba Yaga because he was the one that you sent to kill the boogeyman. The reference is used to emphasize that Joan is a strong wicked spirit and that you need a mighty demon to fight demons. This type of anxiety elevates the strong fear and respect for the lead character. Although it sounds cool and the movies are very popular, 
When you dig deeper into the mythical creature of Baba Yaga, you will not find much direct resemblance with Mr. John Wick. It's mainly the idea that childhood fear can stay instilled into people's minds, ever since the day they were first warned or punished for naughty behavior by their parents. All this to make the children behave, otherwise some kind of boogeyman, demon or Baba Yaga herself would come for them. This gave John the embodiment of the fear of Baba Yaga. And this may also explain the reason why Baba Yaga, until this day, is so extraordinarily popular. We identify ourselves with a sinister creature that will come for us if we were not obeying our parents. Remember, when it comes to Baba Yaga, the magic and mystery are just the beginning. Embrace the enchantment, explore the folklore, and let your imagination take flight. Do you sometimes wonder, what mythical creature am I? Let us know if you have ever dreamed that you were Baba Yaga yourself. Do you believe Baba Yaga is real? Until next time, may Baba Yaga's wisdom guide your path. You can now wake up and continue your own extraordinary journey. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think about her, or if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Check out any of our other mythical creatures in one of our videos. And don't forget to smash the bell and subscribe button, so you don't miss out on any new mythical creatures videos like these.